Nilan. Nilan. I don't feel like chatting right now. Bad request is still locked up. Dr. Sebastian Quaid has him under a special security protocol. Find him and free him. Let's get this straight. I'm doing this for bad request, not for the cause. There's an elevator in front of you. It'll take you below the Bastille. There, you'll understand everything. What was that? Oh man. Not the most inviting option. But here goes. Swap silencing. Swap silencing. Swap silencing. <laughs> I lost it. I guess I do have to fight them. Fair enough. I almost do too much damage. I, with a lot of enemies, I can't get off the whole combo because they just die before the end of it. You'll need to break some security locks along the way. Bad Request owned a pick socket, never left home without it. It will be in the repository where the prisoner's personal belongings are kept. Where am I, exactly? Where the most promising patients were sent to serve as guinea pigs. I'm back here. And it's your fault. Is there supposed to be a thing to pick up in this picture? Because I don't see one. Okay. Not sure if that was useful or not. Hey, a little cleaner. This control post is now active. Please step back so the glass may close. Uh. Um, that might be a problem. Or maybe not. wonder if there's any of the other people's belongings I can take. There'll be like an upgrade pack in there or something.
Got it. Bad requests, pick socket. Perfect. You can use it to break safety locks. Let me guess. I'm going to learn that Bad Request is my secret brother. Is that it? The pick socket will pick the highest security locks by overloading them with a salvo of energy. Right button to suck out its energy pack. Overload the door control panel, shoot the energy pack into it. Okay. So, can I only do energy, like, uh, can I just, uh, pick socket can shoot through windows, okay. Okay, so something like this, you can only take the energy in and out, you can't, like, do any other interaction with it. But it's basically equivalent to just opening and closing, because that's what it does. At the same time, gives you energy and shoots it out. Aren't I supposed to shoot it through here? Oh, yeah, just wasn't quite in the right place. Yoink. Citizens of Neo Paris, I'm speaking to you this troubled hour to announce the immediate cessation of the reconversion project. Enslaving a minority of the population, however hostile or threatening they may be, cannot constitute a social prerogative. More than ever, I hope that Memorize finds new paths to eradicate this terrible plague. Citizens of Neo Paris. I'm okay, well, villain redeemed. Solved. To announce the immediate cessation of the reconversion project. Enslaving a minority of the population, however hostile or threatening they may be, cannot constitute a social prerogative. More than ever, I hope that Memorize finds new paths to eradicate this terrible thing. Neo Paris History New Economic Pact Memrise was the prime motor in the resurgence of Neo Paris, but many other leading companies also played an important part in the city's economic growth. 2059 was the year of the New Economic Pact, the era of the great projects and the return of employment opportunities. Every part of the city buzzed with the same optimistic energy as the Merafrique slowly rose up around it. Stunning cathedrals of glass and titanium spanned the old houseman buildings as the city was reconstructed or reinvented street by street. At the center of this feverish activity, a handful of brilliant people in Neo Paris planned the secret keys to the city's future prosperity. Amalia Leblanc Koenig had just discovered the hyper fertility chain that enabled vertical farms to be built above ground so that, for the first time in its history, the city was able to produce more food than it consumed. Darren Grimaud designed the industrial version of the REC, Rain Energy Converter, during this period, a coating that converted kinetic energy from raindrops into electricity to power vehicles. Charles Cartier-Wells was still working on digitizing the human memory, a crucial discovery that would revolutionize civilization and make Neo-Paris the major economic powerhouse in this brave new world. I'm not sure where I'm supposed to shoot this thing. I hear blips over there. 
What window? Oh. I see you. Is that a secret thing or is that where I just came from? Yeah, I think I'm going to take that back. Oh, we're back here. Mm, there's a thing next to where a bunch of the bots are working on other bots. Kind of a dark room. I don't think I ever went... Uh, was there anything to explore down here? Ah, yeah, I think it's in here. Aha! might be some other things to do, but I think I'm just going to leave it at that. Can't take it back. Searching. Please be patient. Searching. Please be patient. Welcome, Dr. Green. What? Okay. He's completely lost it. Going to get you out of here. Cell closing for patient transfer. Please stand back. Unaccompanied patient in restricted area. Oh. Got some real good quick thinking there.
Oh, new ability? Sense and camo makes no one turn invisible and allows her to instantly overload one enemy. Choose your target wisely. Ooh. Push him from the back and overload him. Gladly. Instant overload only works from behind a target. Visibility lasts 30 seconds and will stop if Nilan deals damage or uses another S present. Last 30 seconds? That's surprisingly long. That should be plenty of time to get into position, right? So wait, are we still invisible? No, because we used it, right? Yeah, yeah, they see me. trying to find out the origin of the Leapers. That's how he began. Then he discovered that they could be controlled using Sensei, hence the reconversion project. Now this madman is injecting his own psyche into them. Holy shit. An army of Quaid Leapers. Okay, I'm in. We stop him, no matter what the cost. You have to find Bad Request Cell. His memories will guide you right to Quaid. Can I use this anywhere here? Yes. I don't think that really accomplished anything. I think the side is just for the bonus. So I guess... Oh, now I gotta go back down so I can use the elevator and get up onto the other side. <laughs> I'm coming, bad. I'm coming to get you. Behind a... fence thing that looks like that stuff over there. Hmm. Yeah, someone right below me, actually. How can I get in there? Uh huh. Or well, maybe not. Uh huh. Uh. Ooh. Cell system controls breakdown. Erroneous assignments. Okay, now I can move them around. And now I can climb. Oh, 
But still, how do I get in there? Oh! Oh! Not giving up. they were preparing for you when I broke you out of here. It's sick. We must stop this. Extract his memory. It's the only way. Excuse me, brother. This time I'm going into your head without your permission. So empty. So true. There's none of him left, just foreign memories. They've erased everything prior to his lockup. The rest doesn't even belong to him. This is standard procedure here. I'm taking him with me. Memory L capacity non viable. Commencing subject transfer to sanitization pits. Bad! I've got to get Bad out of there! You can't do anything for him here and now. Follow the remembrance that you just stole. They'll lead you to Dr. Quaid. He's the one that you need to stop. Memory Hunter 2. Uh, of course, you're not up to par with your friend Nillan. Still, you're an exceptional subject. By isolating that which makes you so particular, I'm certain we'll understand memory all this better. What did they do to him?
under my control, you will leave your private myopia of individuality and discover the vast oceans of cognitive leap or resonance. I envy you. I really do. Ooh, look at that. There's a special animation for when you're climbing up a slope. See, this thing also doesn't seem to be showing me a pack, just a healing station, I guess. I guess it is a nice thing. Oh, we have two keys, actually. Does it really affect anything, though? Maybe. Um, X, Y, Y. Uh, it's hard for me to do this in my head. I'm wondering if we could transfer the S-Present cooldowns to this longer combo. Uh, I think... We can, yeah, actually. Oh, wait. No, I'm missing a Y. Why? Well, I guess it doesn't hurt to have it be a longer combo, right? If I just hit the same number as I did before, I'll just get the same effect, and I can add something on the end here to do something extra. Like... Well, I guess it has to be damage, right? Yeah, it's got to be a damage. Okay. X, Y, Y, X, Y, Y. Do not allow the pain to swamp you. From now on, we can suppress it by acting directly on memorial roots. Incredibly comforting for both of us, is it not? They're turning prisoners into leapers, and then leapers into domestic pets. Wait. What a freak. True monsters are anomalies. And Dr. Quaid is riddled with glitches. This guy doesn't deserve to live. Oh, a third focus gauge. Yes! What do I put this power into? 
Obviously not there, because that's where I just took it from. Ah! Okay, I'll move. Oh, it turned off the power for it. on them, right? That'd be over the top. to do any damage when I can't get to the end of my combo because there's two of them, so you know what? Screw it. Cataloging test subject. Please be patient. Subject number 84217. Bad request. Memory Hunter. Transfer authorized. We will see each other very soon. I think this could be the beginning of a beautiful friendship. Hmm. I'm not sure if I could have... Um... Activated that thing, even if I went to the most extreme angle. I think I need to open this up so I can actually get in there. get a thing. I need power. Don't I? I'll try to activate it. Cataloging test subject. Please be patient. Subject number 84217. Bad request. Memory hunter. Transfer authorized. We will see each other very soon. I think this could be the beginning. No, I can't. Cataloging test subject. Please be patient. Subject number 84217. Bad request. Memory hunter. 
Transfer authorized. Right after you have trigger the remember and go to the nearby memory storage room. Oh! Gotcha. Cataloging test subject. Please be patient. Subject number 84217. Bad request. Memory hunter. Transfer authorized. We will see each other very soon. I think this could be the beginning of a beautiful friendship. Attention all laboratory staff. Do not follow Dr. Quaid down this sterile path. You don't get to decide anything anymore. Sebastian, listen to me. Reconversion is an impasse. I'm convinced of that now. Implanting personalities in these people's broken minds could never be a satisfactory solution. If I stop now, thousands of leapers will suddenly regress to their initial state. Reconversion. We have to stop this. Hang on. What was that? First civilian application. Once the Sensen was launched on the market, the demand for specific applications was overwhelming. Responding to social demand and a collective psychological need, Memrise focused its research on memory storage, and the memory bank opened in 2066, the first publicly available civilian application. From the beginning of the age of the Sensen, the most popular process was memory backup. Some clients wanted to keep their valuable memories safe, while others wanted to discard embarrassing, guilty, or painful recollections. Many of them had suffered cruelly during the European Civil War and still bore the scars. Some could also use the Sensen to forget or erase specific errors or sufferings and reinvent themselves, while others wanted to be reborn and start over. Certain observers of technological consumer trends compared this craze to the tidal wave of TV and cell phones which had also taken just a few years to become the norm. Memrise created the first memory bank in 2066 to respond to this tangible and urgent need in a post-war society. Scylla Cartier-Wells assumed overall control of the company and, not surprisingly, appointed her husband as the scientific project leader. Charles Cartier-Wells designed a working solution in less than three weeks. He was convinced that traditional digital storage would be both ineffective and insufficient for saving large volumes of memory pathways so he decided to use the prototype memorial network, H3O, with a substantially enhanced physical framework, equivalent to hundreds of servers. The first tests confirmed the virtually infinite capacity of this new supercomputer. Public pressure was so strong and the lab results so convincing that Memrise rushed the H3O into operation. H3O would not be limited to running a memory bank for Sensen users. Due to its high level of performance, Scylla Cartier-Wells decided to use it as the Memrise central server that same year. Subject number 84178, Nilan, Errorist. Transfer authorized. This hallway. These colors. I've been here. like we're visiting hell. This is the place they tried to dismantle me. Damn, flashback. I just got a glimpse of myself. This place is the Devil's Cauldron. Maybe it's not so bad that you've forgotten what you went through here. Hey, it was you who broke me out of this hell in the first place. 
I could never thank you enough. Enough said, sister. What really matters is to stop Dr. Quaid. Ah, memory hunter. Right on time. Sure which one's better, a logic bomb or a sense on camo? Probably a logic bomb because there's three of them. I hope this doesn't kill me. Oh, Jesus. Shit, I didn't mean to shoot that. Did it work, actually? Might have. I meant to destroy the shield. I want to get um, rust in pieces, so I'm going to try to do S present stuff. You're done for, little lady. Like <laughs> yeah, I guess that works. Get closer. You'll be sorry you came. Hardboard circuits. I guess there's no need for rust and pieces anymore. That's good. 
told you. Johnny remembers a lot of things that others preferred to forget. I recognize this zone. He scared me to death. Well, this is a big battle arena if I've ever seen one. Look at her. So eager to snuff out a new era of enlightenment. She would have us continue to live in these dark ages of individualism. Go, my children! Share with her my dream! Get them all together so I can do a nice logic bomb. My work is the future. I am the future. Don't kill her. I want to taste. My work is the future. I am the future. That obviously hurt a lot. This was Charles' dream! Shit. Yeah, sense and fury against things that uh, do damage to you when you do damage to them, and that means you get no healing. Bad idea. Just a really bad idea.
Finally! So is the redness gonna go away or do I just have to fight him like this? I think I just have to fight him like this. Stop me from finishing my work. And you, hunter of memories, you will no longer... Huh? Oh. <laughs> no. 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 <laughs> Thanks, Johnny. Out of here. Quaid. He's out of my head. Thank you. Yes. Thank you, Memory Hunter. Thank you for opening the doors. Johnny Greenteeth. 
You weren't just the subject of an experiment, were you? Dr. Green. So empty. So true. The past is a foreign country. I'll see that everyone learns what was done to you here. We were monsters. But at least we were free. Oh, that's actually a really cool detail. So I just realized. They've been following us, becoming invisible. We're opening the doors. That's why that... Uh, remember that one uh, door that we opened? It like scanned us and said like, Welcome, Dr. Green. And I thought, what? Like, what? We're not green. What do you... Huh? But they were just following us. So they were just invisible right next to us. He wanted to turn us into his slaves. Quaid is dead. It's over now. Code black authentication accepted. Auto-destruct sequence initiated. Yes. It's over. Sebastian has paid. Now it's your turn, Memory Hunter. Then it'll be mine. All of this horror will be forgotten in the flames! Well, they were helpful for a minute. Eat her! for that bomb because the AOE really is the good thing that we like the best thing for the situation. Find a way to prevent Johnny from teleporting. Yeah, probably DOS. I wonder if these enemies just come unlimitedly. I, I get the feeling they might. Enjoy yourself! Eat him! 
Oh, I pressed the wrong button. I pressed B instead of X. Oop. Hidden threats. Millen, Johnny has ordered the destruction of the laboratories. Everything's going to blow. You need to leave. Can we not take them with us? Could I have? Was there a choice there? I saw that there was a destructible thing back there. I thought there was like a something you could destroy by shooting it. And then I went this way and then cutscene and now I can't do anything. What was that? The fog of La Bastille has been lifted from me. I can see clearly now. Memorize, sense them. The leapers, these horrible secret experiments, it's all connected. I feel compelled to puncture this false utopia and rip it apart. I must find the conception cube at the heart of Charles Cartier Wells' monopolis. That's where the sense and curse is kept. Warm and nurtured, immersed in the cobalt glow of the memorized central servers. Nothing will stop me from accomplishing this. Not the murderous machines, not the yabbering leapers, not the father I cannot recollect. Memorize and implode, so the world forgets. Right down to Cartier Wells' name. We're gonna drink a toast to David when this is all over. Thank you, Olga. Wow, what a recruit. I should have got you to enlist her earlier. Okay, let's focus. You need to find and access the central security post in Nemopolis. Well, I think that's a pretty good place to end the episode, so hope you've enjoyed so far. I want to return. We're going to go deeper into Nemopolis.